Oh, the, the fact that now everything is working perfectly. I am such a happy camper. I mean, of course, of course, here, actually, no, bring that back. Roll that back real quick. Let's, let me switch it over to, to the main camera. The main camera, how does it look? If only you can see what I'm seeing. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> you weren't. You cannot tell how excited I am right now. This is, this literally changes everything right now. But I wonder who do you hopes to, who, who do you hopes to uh, to have unlocked though, or to have? I don't know why I say unlock. I'm still to be fair when it comes to the DLC, I am still surprised that Sora even came to Smash. To be fair, that is a character I was probably never expecting to see, but it happened. I got Smash in 2020, and I haven't touched it in two years on my Switch. Plus my Switch, and now I just have started playing it. Yeah, I haven't played Smash in a while either. I recently just kind of got back into it because... No, I, okay, I didn't... Okay, to free phrase, I didn't actually recently get back into it, but I have recently played it, though. Now it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, if I go to a friend's house and they have Smash and they ever want to play it, I'll be like, all right, I'll be like, heck yeah, let's play some. That's pretty much about it. I'm just, I'm just still surprised that someone like Sora managed to become a, D, a DLC character. It is a wel it's a welcoming surprise, but surprise nonetheless. I think it's mostly due to the fact that to be fair, I, I wanted other characters besides... I think the only characters I really did want... Actually, there's three different characters that I wanted in a, that I wanted in a Smash. Uh, Shantae was probably the highest. Highest for me. Second, I would say Dante from Devil May Cry. He's already got Bayonetta, so I'm just like... Why the hell not? And then third, this one was more of a recent thing because this is when I recently played uh, Astral Chain, which is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. And I fell in love with that game. And I thought to myself, wait a second. The protagonist from this game would be perfect. I mean, we already got a character like Joker uh, from Persona 5, which has his whole his whole ordeal about like controlling that other thing. But that that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I feel like you can do so much with that character. But of course, that never happened and, and, and all that. Plus, at the same time, I'm more concerned about Astral Chain getting a, getting a sequel at some point. I unlocked Daisy, so I'm fine, but I just want to unlock Piranha Plant because it's funny. A plant got in before Waluigi. I never got the whole. I, I, I still never got the whole Waluigi shtick. He he's a funny he's a funny meme character, but oh jeez, but I did I never saw him ever actually getting it in. Because here's the thing, we because here's the thing, we already have way too many Mario characters at this point. We don't really need uh Waluigi, especially since like everyone just kind of wants him in there for the memes. We are like, we already, like, literally, like, most of the characters that we have, like, we already have so many, Mar like, Mario characters. Even some Mario characters that aren't even represented as Mario characters are, are already in the game. Which, of course, for example, Yoshi, Wario, for example. Because those two are kind of just mostly representing themselves as characters and pretty much their own their own separate series because they do have that. I guess, technically, you can count Donkey Kong. Actually, now that I think about it, Donkey Kong was probably, was actually, if you actually think about it, Donkey Kong was actually a Mario character first before he became his own thing. Oh yeah, I would also want I also wanted Eggman to come into. Because the fact that we were going through this whole weird theme of villains in the game, I'm very surprised that what A, we didn't get we didn't have another Sonic rep, and B, that Eggman was not even thought about. He would have been perfect. Especially since like he was literally he's literally, he was literally the second the one of the first characters ever created for the series. So it would make perfect sense. Like, he is just as much of a of an important role as Sonic. Sure, Tails would be nice, too. Because, of course, like, he also has, like, his own thing. And everyone did want Shadow, too. Um, me included. But Tails would have been nice. Personally, um, I think out of all the Kirby characters, Bandanity would have been perfect. The fact that we didn't have another Kirby rep was... On is honestly weird. <laughs> and especially since Bandanity has always been, like, the, the default, uh fourth character on a lot of like the uh recent kirby games so the fact that bandana d was never in it was never part of like uh especially like wii u the wii u version was weird sakurai hates his child no no do you want to know who so no 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 you want to know who who, 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 who sakurai hates kid <laughs> okay no not at not actually not actually but <laughs> where where is but where is but 
Where's where's my Kid Icarus gameplay, man? Where where's where's the sequel? Where's for Kid Icarus, man? I can't. I really I really can't wait. I will say I cannot wait. I will sit, literally wait here. I will wait here. Literally, I I would even be laying here in my own grave, in my coffin. I will be. I could be laying here dead, but I will not rest until I see Kid Icarus Uprising comes to the switch whether it whether it be a port or a remastered version i do not care kid Icarus uprising is one of my favorite games of all time especially on the 3ds and i will not rest until i see that game come to the switch that game is perfect and all things compatible the only thing that was technically holding it back was technically the 3ds controls but if you can get past that you're gonna have a really fun time it's a very addicting game in the 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 multiplayer that was that multiplayer was so fun sure in certain in some cases it was imbalanced but if it was balanced especially if it ever comes in as a as like a remaster or port to the switch let me tell you you nintendo has a perfect esports game right there a perfect esports game i need veridi so do i veridi <laughs> I yes, the fact that everything about that game was just, it's just just I, I I just can't I just can't, I, I I don't even know how much I can explain this. I, that's the thing. I still need to make a Kid Icarus Uprising video at some point. Maybe maybe at some point. That game to this to this day. Cause how long? Come on, let me see. How long ago? How long ago has has this, has this game been since? Since that game was released, hold on. I need I need answers. I can I did not spell uprising right, but I do not care. And my boy just came in with the raid. Hey, you just you literally came in as I was literally frothing at the mouth about Kid Icarus Uprising on how it needs there needs to be a freaking either remastering. I don't care. Port remaster. I don't care. This game needs to be on Switch now. I am not literally, literally, come, literally, literally, literally right here. Look at me. Look at me right here in the face. Look at me right here in the face. I, I, I don't care how blurry I am. I am not giving you a choice. This game needs to come to Switch now. I just want this game in my hands while I go to the store. Okay, probably not to the store. That's a bit that's a bit much. But I need this game like just in my hand. Like literally. That's the one thing I will complain about when it comes to Nintendo. Is the fact that this thing, this thing right here, the freaking Switch. It has so much potential, like to do so many things right. Nintendo, I mean, even I mean, the core. Of course, you can brag about the online. You can brag about that. I do not care. But the fact that just having it, they're, I don't, they're just not, they're just not taking and consider. I, I don't want this to be. Of course, I don't think the Switch is going to be the Wii U again. But I, but I get, the, I'm getting a weird feeling that it's slowly going to get to that point in time. Where, because that's the one thing. Here's the one thing I will definitely say about the Wii U. Also, thank you, Sunday Storms, for the follow, my guy. But I don't know why it didn't pop up exactly. Uh, uh, but, but but again, the Wii U necessarily was not a bad console. It was not a bad console. The console it, in itself uh, had a lot of things going for it. Just poor marketing. It, I think, think the biggest problems with it is just poor marketing, not enough third party art support. And also the fact that it just, the whole gimmick about it either just wasn't taken advantage of uh, at all or is or is being used in the wrong way. I remember seeing a bunch of videos, mostly from Scott the Waz recently, where there was a lot of things like the Wii, the, like even just the gamepad itself. Like there was a lot of cool things, a lot of cool functions that you could do with this. But the, and, and of course this goes to also like with games and stuff like that, that would have been a perfect like, like just merge in like if you put it like if you put it for the wii u i think it goes for all the consoles too but the wii u specifically but they never take advantage of it and even if they do put it on like it it still kind of makes it just it they just just they just do it so bad uh what are your thoughts on daisy and smash <laughs> uh 
Why is she? A, why? Why is she a clone, man? Please, please tell me here, love. Just, just. Why? 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 Why is she a clone, man? I, I. Da Daisy had so much personality. She was basically just the better Princess Peach in every single way. Plus, she barely got kidnapped. And now we're and now like we're just like, oh yeah. By the way, we're gonna introduce here. Let me fix this. By the way, we're introducing a new concept called Echo Fighters. Now here's another Echo Fighter than you uh, that, of a character you might probably be real life. You probably might know. And then you just see freaking Daisy, and it's just like, cool. I'm like, yay, cool. They acknowledge Daisy exists, but, but uh. Why is she a clone, man? I didn't. I don't know. I. It feels. I feel it's kind of weird how Daisy, a lot of all things, became an Echo Fighter. Like I feel like you could pull so much stuff in regard to Daisy, especially how like she's a more a more. I. I want to. I say. I guess. I guess you could say athletic, or probably more. Like she's like she's basically a princess, but she feels a more. But she, I kind of get like a more aggro-ish thing. I mean, I think just kind. I think it's canonical that she's supposed to be like a tomboy of some sort. So I'm surprised like they didn't like emphasize that more. Or at least, like, even the fact that she was, like, an Echo Fighter at all, it would have been nice to kind of, like, show, like, the main differences between the two princesses. Because I think they're sisters. I think it's I think it's canonical that Peach and, Peach and Daisy are sisters in some cases. Hey, uh, so Future Char here. Uh, I had to kind of search this up just to make sure, so just so I can break this down a bit. But um, I remember seeing at some point around the time when Daisy was like technically slowly becoming a thing where i remember seeing i remember seeing something in related in relation to like daisy and peach basically both being related as sisters at one point i remember seeing it somewhere uh and, and i know i'm not the only person who thinks this because i've seen a lot of different stuff around where people actually thought so as well uh but then at some point uh there was something that was confirmed over in the prima guides from mario kart double dash and mario kart Wii that stated that daisy is peach's cousin uh, unfortunately, Nintendo, I don't think, ever really confirmed this to be true, uh, nor they ha nor had they denied it at all. And then at some point, it was, I'm guess, uh, then at some point now they're saying, like, they're very close friends, like, around, like, the point where they're kind of like, uh, what's the term for it? Uh, sisters in arms. So, either they were related at some point, or Nintendo just completely just decided to just retcon that and be like yeah yeah they're 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 just very close friends kind of like a, that's sister like uh so in other words uh not even nintendo knows themselves <laughs> or something like that so it would have been nice if they at least showed like that yeah they're they're similar in a lot of cases but one but one's uh, is pictured to be a lot more prim and proper, a lot more elegant, while the other one is a lot more tomboyish, kind of more aggressive in a lot of cases, has more spunk to her. But they barely did that. The only, literally, th the, the only thing, there's only a couple of things they changed with Daisy. Running animation, I think run speed too, I don't know, but running animation, uh, visual animation, and the fact that the toad, the toad that pulls out, that she pulls out is blue instead of red. That is it. Literally, at least for Dark Pit, at least for Dark Pit, uh, of course, people like to complain about Dark Pit a lot, and sure, I get it, but Dark Pit in itself, like, like given his character and Mel's whole thing, it makes sense. Personally, personally, like, if you really want to change any of their, any of their movesets, change regular Pit's moveset to, like, him having, like, the, that, the, uh, the, I think it's called the First Blade, I believe, in the game. Because that became, like, because lately in the promotional material, that's been, like, his main, like, weapon to use i mean sure the palutena bow the palutena bow has also been like his main thing too but now since dark pit's a thing and the silver bow has basically been his like his main thing it would be nice it would definitely have been nice if they made if you want to if they made like okay here's here's the two different pits you got dark pit which kind of has like a little bit more be, a, little, a little bit more of the elements of the pit of the updated pit move set from from the wii u version but also still having smidgens of like of like what's it called of um brawl pit as well while you have the while you have the pit that you're all familiar with the pit that we redesigned for for pit, uh kid Icarus uprising you kind of ch we change up his move sets also ha also have him have the the first the first the first blade and all that have slightly different move sets with similar attributes to reg to dark pit as well but of course you could tell they're different if they did it like that that would have been it that would have been perfect but now but of course like they just painted and pretty much made the same made them the same which is fine because it's still kind of in both of their characters and stuff like that but still it would have been but at least the, here's the at least they're still 
different. They have way more different attributes that considers them different characters. I will say the same thing with Martha Lucina. Daisy, Daisy and Peach. Nope. They could have given Daisy Melee Peach's moveset. I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess. Because I think they didn't really add too much to that. So a slight addition would have been nice. Yeah, so it would have been fine. But I feel like they would have been best if they just, you know, just completely just change it, change it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, now I have to deal with this chick again. You are my friend. In other words, like, I don't know what's going to... To be fair, I don't know what's going to happen with, like... With, um, with Smash Brothers after the Switch. I don't know what's going to be happening at that point. It's now to the point now where it's like... Oh, God. I do know maybe at some point they will definitely make, like, a another Smash Brothers. But it'll definitely be made by Bandai Namco specifically. If they ever do. But, of course, like, it's just this... I don't know. That, that's just this whole thing. I don't know what's going to be happening. But I just don't... I just know, like, given the fact that now... Smash Brothers is finished. I kind of wonder what the heck what's, uh, Sakurai is going to do now. I just really do hope for Kid Icarus Uprising. I will continue. I will, I, like I said before him, when I did the whole bit, I will I will fight to the grave if I have to. Just so I can, just so I can finally see that I see a Nintendo Direct. Just imagine, just imagine the moment like uh, the whole thing starts. For the first time in 10 years. You just, all you see is just sky. You just see the blue sky. It's slowly panning down. Uh, you just see like a random feather. Someone whooshing, whooshing past you as the camera slowly falls. And then you just see Pit with his dorky smiling grim saying, sorry to keep you waiting. Just, I would lose it. I would lose it so much. You would have no idea if that ever did happen. I would be just, I would be just, I would have been as hype as seeing the fact that, as seeing the fact that Sans got into Smash Brothers. That's how hype I would have been. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, I forgot. I don't, I'm surprised they didn't really include a lot of like, the sports games related stuff in Mario and like the Mario cast stuff. I mean, sure. I mean, I guess for Peach, it makes somewhat sense. Like Peach kind of had like some weird magical abilities from the get go. It was even teased in like the first like Super Mario game where where because I think like the main thing about the game itself was that, oh, the evil Bowser has turned all the mushroom people into blocks. Despite forgetting to mention that you destroy the blocks, but <clears throat> well, let's forget about that. <clears throat> but basically, that was the main thing. Bowser, the evil King Koopa, ev evil King Bowser, was turning all the mushroom people into like construction, concrete, and blocks. And only the the princess and her magical powers can turn them back to normal. So of course she how she always has some sort of magical power shtick going on with her. But the weird thing, but the weird thing about it is that it it was never really touched upon too often. It never really was touched upon. It was only until like that one game. Uh, I don't know if you actually remember this. I don't actually. I don't actually even think if any of y'all even remember that this game existed. But uh, well, let me see. Yeah, this game. I'm not even sure if any of y'all even remember that this game existed. Actually, this was a game, and weirdly enough, it did well. I think. I mean, so far, like IGN gave it almost an eight out of ten, and then eBay gave it like a four point six out of five. Well, that's eBay, but. This was a game. And the weird thing about this game is the fact that most of her powers are based on her emotions, which is. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised. I forgot there was a video I saw where someone talked about this game. And I think I think they were just talking about like the like forgot like forgotten Mario games, and I think this was one of them. I forgot what the main reason was, but I know it was probably for the fact that you're playing as the female princess where most of her abilities are based off of her emotions, which is weird, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this was a game. <laughs> this was the game on the Nintendo DS, uh, which came out in 2005 of October 20th. Oh, you actually remember the game? Yes, yeah, so it was in, I never played it, but I remember seeing it before and it was weird. I like the moonside, make her four smash and make it, make it be like Sonic's S smash. Listen, if you want to talk about how broken Sonic's F Smash is, Sonic's, but seriously, Sonic's F Smash is like just, it's just an anomaly in itself. That move is literally just an anomaly in itself. I don't understand why. 
Like, I hear the thing about Sonic and Smash, it literally has no reason to be to be to be this good. I freaking love this. Are you? <laughs> I freaking love this. The move is from Sonic. I re I really freaking love that. I forget just, exactly. His F Smash will forever be a more iconic than the Doria. Yeah. Cause even cause even it beats the Doria. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love the Doria. It's one of my favorite Smash memes. But I, but the fact that a sword, a literal gigantic sword, gets beaten out by an extended an extended fist. I'm sorry, Gendro, but get out of here. Get, get out of here, man. What, what was the point? Literally, everyone wanted you to have the sword to begin with, but the fact that it's not, it's, it's not even better than a fist, like, go go back to your go back to your old one, man. Go, we're not we're not we're not dealing with this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My God, man, this I will always. This is one of the reasons why I freaking love playing as Sonic, and it's mostly just the F, F Smash alone. Uh, I'm still mad at Nintendo for not putting Daisy and Mario Strike. Oh wait, they have it. They have the nerve to leave out Daisy, but they're 45 putting Waluigi. What is this? They replaced her with freaking Rosalina. I mean, I don't want to be here with the debating and everything and anything, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show this real quick. Hold on, give 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 me a sec. So between the four main Mario gals, which do you think is the best? People that choose Peach are the most basic of bitches. Daisy's are the same but louder. Rosalina fans are disgusting coomers. So anyone with the slightest bit of taste would pick Pauline. I get it. You're a Pauline fan. I didn't say that. To be fair, to be fair, I think I think everyone loves Rosalina. Let's be fair. This is just facts because I agree with Scott. Yes, I would most likely rather pick Rosalina. It's like a mixture of Rosalina and Daisy, but I'll only say Rosalina because just. <laughs>